Hey guys, Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video I'm doing a speed comparison test between the Samsung Galaxy S3 here on the left and the Apple iPhone 4S here on the right. This is actually uh, T-Mobile's variant as you can see and this is the unlocked version of the iPhone. So uh, we'll go ahead and start our first test which is the boot up test. Press power at the same time, so one, two, three. Hold it for a couple of seconds. There you go, felt both phones vibrate. While these guys are loading up, I'll let you know that I did clear out the uh, browsing history on both phones so when I do the browsing test it'll be very equal, both phones are running on the same Wi-Fi network, both phones have their SIM cards pulled out, um, and uh, when I do the app speed comparison test, you know, I'll be loading up the same apps by the same developers, but you keep in mind that they are different OS's, so it's not gonna be a reflection of just pure uh, processing power, it's gonna be a reflection of, you know, how each OS is uh, optimized. iPhone 4S showed the uh, lock screen first, we're going to unlock both phones for, uh, at the same time, and I will go to the phone application, just to see you know, which one's done loading first. And you can see that the iPhone did look like it is like a, a few seconds you know, ahead of, or a second or so ahead of the Galaxy S3. So we'll give it the win, but honestly, uh, from my own test that I've done before this video, you know, in one boot up test, the Galaxy S3 will win, and the other one, the iPhone 4 will win. So honestly, it's more close to a, a draw, but uh, more consistently, the iPhone will win, so I give it the win here. Um, let's go ahead and go to the first app speed test. So we'll go to, uh, we'll do score center first. So one, two, three. And you can see that the iPhone did finish up first loading. It gave me a no SIM card error, which uh, the Android has given me for a while now. So we'll go ahead and close it out on both phones. Actually, I gotta go like this. Obviously the iPhone is just really pausing the uh, apps in the background. But I'm doing it more or less for the Galaxy S3 sake because the Galaxy S3 is going to be running them in the background. So uh, we'll go to the next test, which will be the uh, Flixster test. So I'll go ahead and find Flixster. One, two, three. Loaded up first on the iPhone 4S in this case. So the iPhone gets its second win. So it loaded up Score Center faster and it loaded up uh, Flixster faster. So two wins for it in that category. And uh, the next app speed test I'll do is the dictionary app. So dictionary on both phones one two three and there you go you can see that the galaxy s3 did load up the dictionary app faster so it got its first win for the app speed comparison and i will go ahead and close this out close the paused app out and remove it from there and just let you know removing it does actually uh, take it out as you can see my task manager shows no running applications because i closed it out from that list um the next test i'll do is uh let's just do uh the game Temple Run. So Temple Run on here, got Temple Run right here on this guy. So I'll tap him at the same time. One, two, three. And it looks like the iPhone uh, is a little bit ahead. You can see it, it has my paused game, which I had a horrible score on. And this one did too. But obviously the win does go to the iPhone 4S here again. Keep in mind, uh, you know, I feel like iOS is a faster, you know, or more optimized OS than Android is. Hopefully that changes with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which I was just announced today by the way and you know Google said that they made it a lot more uh, or a lot more buttery smooth is uh, their word so anyway I will go ahead and go to the next test which will be uh, the camera load up test so I'll go ahead and load up the camera on both phones at the same time to see you know which one's gonna show the viewfinder first so one two three and again the iPhone 4s loaded up just a little bit faster than the Galaxy S3 so Overall, I mean, from those app speed tests, the clear winner is the iPhone 4S. We'll go ahead and uh, close it out here. And we'll go on to the next test, which is the browser speed test. And, that, and this one is actually the biggest, you know, reflection of actual processing power because the OS doesn't make as much of a difference here. Um, we'll go ahead and close this guy out. I don't know why that's showing. I'll go ahead and clear out the history just in case I forgot. Thought I cleared it out, but you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we'll go to Safari, clear it out really quick go back home and uh, let's do the same one here just in case so go here privacy and security clear history clear cache all right now we're back and uh, let's go to phonebuff.com for the first test so I'll go ahead and type in phonebuff all right so I typed in phonebuff.com on both phones I'm gonna hit go at one two three and they're off so let's go ahead and see the iPhone is showing up more content first the Galaxy S3 is still loading. There you go, the Galaxy S3 is done and now the iPhone 4S is done. And you can see it in the notification bar, it's showing that little circle. 
Um, so the iPhone 4 or the Galaxy S3 definitely was the winner here. We'll go ahead and load up an article. We'll load uh, how to set contact specific ringtones on the iPhone. Um, we'll just tap it right here. One, two, three. Again, the iPhone seems to be showing the content first, but uh, in this case, you can see it's still loading. Um, it seems like the Galaxy S3 is actually loading up the whole uh, page first. So overall, the win goes to the Galaxy S3 for uh, phone buff. Let's go to, let's do NFL.com really quick and hit go at the same time. So one, two, three. And uh, that was really close. I think they finished just about the same time. Um, again, it seems like the iPhone 4S loads it up in a different way where it shows the content first and uh, on the Galaxy S3 it doesn't show the content first but then all of a sudden all of it comes on the screen. So it really makes it really tough to call. Um, we'll go ahead, go ahead and hit desktop at the same time on both of these guys. So we have the full version. One, two, three. And uh, there you go, the Galaxy S3 is done. Now the iPhone 4S is actually done, or says it's done, but it's still loading things up in the background. So um, the win clearly does go to the Galaxy S3. And overall, you know, it's the faster browser. And, uh, you know, I feel like you actually get a better browsing experience even with a bigger screen and the higher resolution. So anyway, that's the speed comparison test. Um, you know, it feel, I feel like iOS really makes a difference for the app speed and maybe the boot up test um, when it comes to those tests. But the sheer processing power Goes to the Galaxy S3 for sure with the 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, the S4, compared to the 800 megahertz uh, A5. And also you got two gigs of RAM with only 512. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Hopefully this gives a better idea as far as the performance differences between these two devices. Alright, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.